believe the Bronx asthma rate's extremely high and our air quality is really terrible and bad because this community uh, is encircled by highways. It has five bridges intersecting with our neighborhood. Um, there is one of the largest waste transfer stations in the city located right here in our community. Um, it's been well documented that this community is considered asthma alley because of the poor air quality. My mom taking me to the uh, to the hospital um, to get my uh, to get my asthma treatment. Um, I remember, you know, some long nights there, difficulty to breathe. Um, nowadays, you know, my asthma kicks in when I really get sick. I get a flu, I get a cold, I get the congestion, difficulty to breathe, and then I go to the doctor. Um, yeah, but it, it's something that I I know I'm going to have for the rest of my life. Some of their con supposed concessions were they were going to go green with their fleet. Uh, that we heard uh, some years ago that they were going to go biodiesel with their fleet, but their, their biodiesel combination is about 80 to 90 percent diesel and remaining is bio. So these kind of projects have been dumped in our community because it's a, it's a poor community of color. And, and we think that advocacy has not been here to advocate for bit different outcomes for our neighborhood. Uh, where we see tech startups are happening in Brooklyn, what they're bringing to our community is more facilities like Fresh Direct, where they're heavily diesel truck intensive, like that business there and that truck going by there, that are dumping waste, are, are creating wasteland on our waterfront.